An Experiment with Heavy Loom Weights by Lorena Arias. Pictured here on the right, the loom weights from Fara Novarese, Roman settlement. Courtesy of Superintendenza Archeologica BAP, Provinciale di Biela Verbano, Cusio Ossola e Vercelli, Italia. Why this experiment? The loom weights from the Roman settlements in the north of Piedmont are large and heavy, measuring 15 centimeters in diameter and over 1,200 grams in weight. They cannot be used to weigh warp threads in the classic way because they are too heavy and bulky. Thus, it was thought to experiment with another way of applying the loom weights to a weaving loom. The experiment. Exact replicas of the refractory ceramic loom weights were made with weight, size and shape similar to the originals. These exact replicas are pictured below. A weaving loom was also built that could be used with heavy loom weights and a tabby with wool was woven. Methodology Making the loom weights by modeling a refractory ceramic mixture and air drying. Below you can see the images illustrating this process. Moving on to the construction of the weaving loom. Based on correlations and comparison with the warp weighted loom and the double beam loom, both used in Roman times. Once more, you can see this process in the pictures below. Results A vertical weaving loom with poles inserted in quadrangular bases with an upper beam and a lower beam that are not fixed but just supported by a pin. The lower one is weighed down by the loom weights that are suspended by a rope. The completed weaving loom is pictured on the right. Weaving. The lower beam can be positioned over a support pin during the warping phase. During the weaving phase, the beam is positioned under the support and the loom weights are positioned laterally. The entire warping is tensioned and ready for weaving. Side and front view, the warp making, weaving and rest of the work. The lower beam can indeed move. Above of the pin is made the warp and the threads are loose, not in tension. Below the pin, the loom weights weigh down the threads and allow the weaving. Concluding notes. Over the duration of this experiment, over 160 pictures and over 36 videos were made to document the process. The tabby was made from wool, hand spun, and dyed with berries and leaves. The poles were made with acacia, ash, and beech wood found from the forest. The weaving loom is 120 centimeters wide and 165 high. All the materials were made by the author, an expert in wood, ceramic and weaving processes. Thank you.